Batteries. Good afternoon to you, Jan. Uh, good afternoon, Gordon. Has the department been able to accurately identify and confirm that the pest we're talking about is the one that has uh, been uh, pestering the farmers in Limpopo, Northwest, and the Free State? Uh, Colin, we, we definitely have uh, a pest um, destroying crops in, in some areas in, in uh, Limpopo province, for, uh, for instance. But the identification is not as simple as said because lava has been collected, the caterpillars or the worm itself, and that has been sent to um, for identification. But the, it first has to complete its life cycle. In other words, it has to become a moth. Now, once it's a moth, then um, it, uh, taxonomic identification can successfully be done. We are trying to do it on the larva at the moment, um, but as I said, confirmation needs to be done um, with the moth. Well, I mean, s since it has been cited, have we been able to measure the extent of the damage? Uh, we are documenting all reports coming in, and we are sending uh, our uh, extension support as far possible. It is, it's not that easy as we don't exactly know how, where it is. We have now started with the first um, pheromone traps where, where we can now um, capture adults from the beginning. That will give us a much quicker and easier way to determine where it is it's popping up. But it seems that it's definitely the northern areas uh, to the northwestern areas of South Africa. Mm, we've heard that this is uh, quite a very dangerous uh, worm and uh, given that the Sadek region has just come out of a devastating drought, how vigilant are we to really prevent and avert damage, uh, especially now that farmers are beginning to really look forward to a great harvest? Well, Colin, it's not uh, um, a question of preventing the pests coming into South Africa as such, because these pests are, are flying in on high wind currents, so they will move into the country. What The best that we can do is to make sure that we have the right pesticides registered for this pest as soon as possible. So remember, this is not a known pest in South Africa, so nothing is registered at this stage, so we're working on, on emergency registration. We're also asking our chemical suppliers to apply for emergency registration from the registrar. We already worked out which pesticides would be the best to use at this stage. So that is the best protection the farmers has and the correct information. If the identification, for instance, is flawed, they may apply the wrong pesticides or pesticides that is not working. Some of these uh, Spidoptera larvae, like the, the armyworm type, they have different um, species and they have different resistance to different pesticides. So it's essential that the right uh, identification is applied with a correct pesticide regime. If they're able to fly, say for example, in the country through high current winds, I would imagine the capacity of farmers to all be ready to be able to uh, try and quarantine their farms. And secondly, where would all of them get the helicopters? Um, the, the thing about, about these things is they, they are seasonal. So you cannot really predict uh, specifically this species, if it's this species, when it will fly. So farmers will have to look at and scout their farms at a regular basis. When the, the maize is very young, like um, knee high or, or hip high, then there's still a good chance that, that the larvae, once they emerge, is not going to uh, creep too deep into the wool of the leaves. And then pesticide application is very successful, and that can be done with tractors or um, crop duster planes, etc. So the normal um, uh, the farmers go through normal p pesticide applications as well. So we're trying to combine it with, with other regimes already. Um, but the important thing is, is early detection and scouting and then uh, quick application. All right, just, just before you go now, given that South Africa is not only alone in this threat, we've talked about Zimbabwe as well as uh, you know, other areas like in Zambia, for example, has there been any kind of collaboration in trying to fight this? Because, I mean, like it looks like this worm knows no borders. 
Now, the worm certainly does not wor uh, know any worm, uh, any borders, but the, the, uh, we do collaborate with our neighbors. At this stage, unfortunately, we didn't get any official da um, information from Zambia or any of our neighboring countries, so we are encouraging our, uh, and negotiating with them. Um, the South Africa, with the Directorate Plant Health, we, we form part of a national plant protection organization, and we meet with other national plant protection organizations um, on a regular basis, such as Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, um, Malawi, Mo Mozambique, etc. So we are in contact, um, but with this particular pest, nothing has been, been brought forward to us from, from an official level. So we, we, um, we are working on that to be, be established as well. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, that's uh, Jan Hendrik Fenter, who is a scientist and a manager uh, for plant health and warning, warning systems in the Department of Arts, Forestry, rather Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries. I beg your pardon. Moving on to other.